I wanted to shoot a little follow-up video. Um, I'm here in Springfield, Ohio. I'm at one of the many malls, many, many, many malls, many areas. It's a big, kind of a big area, it's kind of spread out. Um, I would like for you to see the last video that I made. Um, I guess the population is around 60,000 plus 20,000 people from Haiti, which makes 80,000. I talked to some residents and um, they said there's been uh, bomb threats to the government offices. I don't know much about that, but they said many of the government offices are shut down and they said that people couldn't, the residents couldn't get into the government offices like BNV and welfare and different places anyways, because there was long, long, long lines of nothing but people from Haiti trying to get uh, their benefits and services. And um, just the same thing is being reported. Uh, they said people are getting licensed that shouldn't be. And um, they said that they're going to the, I think they said, uh, I thought they said a Snyder Park. I don't know. Let me look at that up before I give you a name. Snyder Park, Springfield, Ohio. Yeah, it is the place. I don't know if you can see that, Snyder Park. So they said uh, there was about 100 um, Canadian geese in uh, Snyder Park and uh, Haitians were down there um, with machetes whacking the heads off of those geese. And um, pets have been taken, and they believe that they've been taken for food. Of course, they're not going to have any evidence. You know, these things are getting eaten. Um, but the government offices are have been uh, swamped, the residents are saying. And um, I guess they're under bomb threats and things. And uh, I checked it out on the, YouTube, in the Internet. It said... Uh, fake threats, but, um, you know, you never know if somebody gives you a threat, you don't know what's going on, I guess. But um, everything's real. These people are really pissed off and they don't really want to be interviewed. I don't blame them. And it's, it's a lot of work, to, I think, to find somebody to interview that really ha has some information that has had something happen to them. You know, it's all about, um, and the things are real because the, the the government offices are even feeling the crunch, I guess. And the the Snyder Park is missing the, the Canadian geese, which are protected in Ohio. There's no shortage of Canadian geese. There was in any ways in Ohio. Um, the people I talked to briefly, just the last people, said even uh, Snyder Park has no uh, real Canadian geese anymore. Um, they said you can go down there and you won't see any and there used to be about a hundred and I'm, I can relate to that because where I come from in Ohio all the little lakes have Canadian geese and they're, they're big they're big like turkeys you know you can't just whack one in the head and take their head off that kind of YouTube is kind of saying that they're knocking the head off the geese that's not yeah you're gonna have to have something sharp and uh, the geese aren't super friendly usually they'll come to food and things but bread and marshmallows and stuff popcorn maybe but they're not uh, super friendly so but um, it's all real these people are saying it and uh, they don't want to be on camera and they don't have anything else to say that hasn't been said and I just want to touch base with you you know I am here did talk to some people already um, uh, there's other vloggers here and uh, there, you're not likely, I, I bumped into one guy that was doing a podcast, but you're not likely to talk to too many vloggers at once. Um, but people are, uh, they're mad, they're pissed, and uh, they, they, they um, I, and I'm not trying to jack stuff up, you know, they feel threatened and they, um, you know, you back a raccoon in the corner to hit it'll it'll whip three coon dogs maybe. You know, so these people feel backed in the corner, back uh, and disrespected by their 
by the U.S. government and by the city of Springfield, you know, I guess from what I'm hearing. And I can understand that. So just thought I'd drop you a little follow-up video. Um, it's it, it looks bright on the camera there, but it's not. It's getting dark and uh, sun's going down. All the street lights are on. And uh, I don't know if I can release this without shutting this video off. If I shut this video off, you'll know what happened. But I don't know if I can release this and uh, show you all the street lights there. Not that it matters, I guess. But um, yeah, all the street lights are on. Yeah, it's getting dark out there. I'm in a lighted area. But. Um, there's a lot of malls here. Springfield's a nice place, it really is. I'm surprised. I, I've been to gun shows and things here, but I never went out and drove around. It's, it's, it seems spread out to me. And there's little surrounding towns or, you know, places around it. And um, so I appreciate you. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, I'm gonna try to get some footage and uh, I may have to come back next week. Um, Sunday's probably not a good day. Might be, but probably not. Maybe I'll come back on uh, through the week. And uh, if you're in Springfield and you want to interview, leave your information where I can get a hold of you or something in the comments. I appreciate you. and uh, Or you can text me and um, go to my description and you can give me a text or something. So I appreciate you being here.